Hey guys, Holiday Master here, and today I've got a video for you guys of this air balloon inflatable uh, penguin with Merry Christmas banner. Um, this was sold at Ollie's, as you can see, I got it for 36 bucks. Um, obviously, it was a cheap van. Um, so, you guys know, you know, I've, I've changed my thinking about a lot of stuff. Uh, throughout the years and I'm finally at a point sorry I gotta max out I'm finally at a point where Jimmy is so cheap like with the fabric and everything uh, I personally rather buy an off brand give it a base fan like I, I did with this guy um 36 bucks compared to like four footers that are what at Lowe's they're five footers are like 40 something bucks that's cheaper by a long shot for pretty much the same you know quality or a little bit better I guess it depends on the brand this is holiday collection brand that always has been having and it's had for a few years now um and my eight foot penguin with the teddy bear wore out last year on me. I mean, it was so thin it was ripping. There's another reason why I bought this because I've always loved penguins. Um, my gram, when I was little, used to have a whole penguin lighted collection. Now there's only two of them. She had a whole bunch of them, but that was when I was probably four or five. Um, but that's all the boxes. It's just a white box with with this. Um, they had a few different ones. They're just the stakes in there and instructions. But uh, they had a few different ones, and I'm waiting to see if they get more in because all these last year, in the last few years, they've had decent, you know, decent sized ones for cheap. And Isaiah actually got a few, and they're pretty nice looking. But I think that's what I'm going to start doing. If it's cheaper for me to buy an off brand a newer one of course and give it a base fan i'm gonna do it if i can get my hands on classics i'll continue to buy classics if i can't then that this is what i'm gonna turn to and i, I sadly hate to tell you guys but i think it's gonna turn into everything so bloody expensive because i'm gonna be honest with you guys and i'm gonna say it right now i was happy and am happy that i was able to um test with some of my older ones like with polyurethane and um you know flex seal and all that i was happy that you test around with them and sure it works but i'm gonna be honest with you guys it, it looks like crap after a while no matter if you do it inside or out it, it eventually will look like crap so i sadly think that they after they're you know so worn out they're unsavable I've come to accept that because I've wasted too much money buying that stuff for it not even to work. And I don't want other people, you know, wasting their money. But if you want to, go ahead. You know, that's on you. I just, I feel like I should say that since I was one of the few that, like, really went big with it. Like, oh, yeah, it works. It does, but it looks like crap, and it only works for so long, so... Felt like I needed to say that, and this it kind of is why I'm doing what I'm doing with this stuff. So, but yeah. So what I did, <laughs> actually. So this is just one of those um, little square base fans with one of the O3 fans, um, you know, the lower ones. And what I ended up having to do was I actually had to screw the thing in because the screw holders were all busted so i just drove screws through it and uh capped it off so you can't can't get poked you know it's not sharp it's all it's all wow my tan line for my watch is bad um it's all um you know coated off and then i had sewn where the fan was and i yes i did white thread just because i wanted to see you know how much I used where the hole was if I need to get back in it because the zipper was on the bottom so has no zipper 
and depending on how you do these off brands that's the only bad thing but um <clears throat> i mean it's decent fabric for off-brand company i mean you know it, it is pretty crinkly and pretty pretty thick fabric um so i guess without further ado i'm just gonna go ahead and set my uh try and set my phone up here there we go you guys can still see it a little bit and then i guess without further ado we'll um Go ahead and plug it in. Um, if, again, it's a smaller, it's one of those smaller fans, so it, it takes a minute to inflate. But once it's inflated, it, you'll know. It just pops right up. But again, I believe this is one of the O, I want to say O3, but it may be an O2. Fan. It's one of the ones off the big metal base fan. Uh, it has a loop holder in the back, as you can see, I'm holding it by. Give me one second. Stupid uh, scarf is twisted around. Oh, man. There we go. Okay. My apology, I didn't realize that was twisted. There it is. I uh, I was going to do four C7s in it, like, like the old classic, like two in the shoulder, like two in the shoulder, one or two in the body, and one in the head, but I felt as though it was easier to just uh, zip tie a light in the hat. It's actually on the inner side of the hat, so you can't, it doesn't affect it. And then I just, because of the sign being here, I was going to do a light here, but I decided uh, I'll just do two in the belly, um, one in the head. Um, but as you can hear it, it's hissing, like it's actually whistling for how well it inflates. Um, again, for a smaller fan, that works pretty good. So... I think whenever an inflatable wears out from now on, I'm just going to take the fan off of it, throw the fabric out. Oh yeah, there's his hat. Um, and um, just buy something cheap like this and make it work. C7s definitely make stuff look better though. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.